Hello, and welcome to the inaugural episode of Podcast and Knuckles. We're a rotating cast of characters that will be reviewing each and every issue of the wonderful Sonic the Hedgehog Archie comic. And uh, I am your primary host, Alouette. I'll be here just about every episode. And the others presently are... I'm Jira. <laughs> I'm, I'm Ellie. Ellie. Oh, fuck. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, are we just going down the line, or like, do I have to? <laughs> we have Jira, Ali, and Million. Yeah, that's me. I'm that's here. Me. That's Jira. Can't we agree that it's podcast and knuckles? <laughs> podcast and knuckles? <laughs> right, I think we did. Yeah. Uh, the th- so this is our first podcast movie. ever. <laughs> so um, we're going to be kind of terrible at first, and we're just going to kind of not... It's not too late to start this episode over. <laughs> it's not too late. You know, that's probably a good idea. We're going to start awful and probably never get better. <laughs> Yeah, but that's going to be some of the fun. I guess. But also we could just we could just not care about it and keep keep going and get to the meat of it. True. And Allie can decide whatever she wants to cut out. Yeah. So, <laughs> the first thing I noticed when reading this we should probably like yeah, we're start we're starting with like the mini series. Reading. Yeah. Yeah. The mini series before the Oh right, yeah, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be smart. So we have here the nineteen ninety three mini series. We probably should have looked like opened the Wikipedia um, not Wikipedia, but like February Sonic Wikipedia. May ninety three. Yep. Starting with number zero. It even says that right on the cover. It's weird that it's zero. Like, why is it zero? I think it was like, like a pilot. Yeah. Yeah. It, like that. They're I'll get like... you yet, Sonic. You have to catch me first, Chrome Dome. By the way, while reading this, what voice did you give him? Because like, I it's... was totally reading it like uh, the um. I forgot to look up his name. And um, which one? Name. Which one is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Um. I yeah, usually. Cartoon. And I've, I also assigned that, um, that Robotnik voice to this Robotnik, even though they don't look the same. I'm also aware this is a really petty point, but I will fucking die on the hill of calling him Robotnik and not Eggman. Eggman, he was always called Eggman in Japan, I think. I know. And then and they wanted okay. to change it. And, like, they made it a nickname. Like, they, they did a decent middle ground of, like, making it a nickname. Or like, but it doesn't make sense because like in Sonic Adventure One, Sonic calls him that as an insult. That makes sense. And he just kind of goes with it, like, okay, I'm just gonna make that insult my name now. <laughs> he just owns it. <laughs> yeah, and it's weird, and it doesn't make much sense. I always um. I feel like if y'all are uh, expecting this series to make sense, <laughs> yeah. I I always went quite for disappointment. I always <laughs> think of. Like the he- the SA two the, like the heroes onwards team of like the ones that were from Sonic X or whatever, like around the heroes to like Shadow O six type thing before colors pretty much. The, the thing is, the, the series does start to make some kind of internal sense. It's it's not 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 a good yeah. it's not good, <laughs> but, but yeah. it makes sense in its own context. Sonic's usually never good with, like, story or whatever. Yeah. Sometimes, I I don't want to say that, like, they're never... Because, like, there's probably a Sonic game with, like, good story and stuff. Like, S- SA2 probably has an okay story or whatever. You're right, Sonic. It is none of your business. So we get on with what you were doing and leave me alone. Let me go do this secret fucking plan and then not tell you about it because you blow my cover. Even though by <laughs> not telling you, you blow my cover. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> that wasn't a great plan. Oh, I had these wait, spy cams in my shoes. How? Uh, uh, the the one where like Sally was had like was trying to 
go talk to Robotnik or whatever, and she's yeah, like, yeah, they, 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 they could they, they could have just told Sonic like, like he, they could have just told Sonic that, and this plan would have worked. And it doesn't make much sense anyway, because like she would go into it, and then like the machine or whatever, like the thing she has would tell her about the machine that she's in that's turning into a robot. Well, she was but like, but then what? Robot. Yeah, but then what? She gets turned into no, a robot. They, they said it's also full of like jamming devices, so it would break mm -hmm. the machine and also um, give them information. I want to point out that uh, how does like how does this thing even work? The robot like, machine. How does it like turn? That's what they're trying to figure out. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> have you never heard of in media res? I haven't. <laughs> oh well, that yeah okay. It's, uh, <laughs> it's the idea that information is only portrayed through the actual work itself. We're in Mexico. It's in Sorry, Mexico is a real place <laughs> and on planet Mobius. Excuse me. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, that's something that I missed that the first time I read this. Mobius is Earth. That's yeah. Earth, trillions of years in the future. And Mexico, <laughs> Mexico survives. What bird is Mexico the Mexico hedgehog? Mexico and only Mexico survives. <laughs> Mexico speaking of a, is the only speaking thing. of total inconsistencies. Speaking of Mexico, uh, no. <laughs> the Freedom Emeralds that show up in issue two, the third issue. The Freedom issue, no. the Freedom Emeralds never show up again. They also don't look like emeralds in the They're slightest. They're set up well, to the Chaos Emeralds. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. the cast emeralds are at least still gemstones or whatever. No, those are like carbachons. That's an actual, or however that's pronounced. That's an actual mm -hmm. kind of cut. I'd like to point out also, I forgot to mention this, on page 12 of the number zero or whatever, um, Sonic calls him Robot Nudenik. At what point? And I've, I don't know what that means. Robot Nudenik. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> is that a term? Is that like an insult that we should know? Who knows? I was like- I have I something about that panel too though, hold on. I didn't Google it, like I didn't Google to see it, cause N-O-O-D has like a different meaning, or whatever. Um, now, so if I Googled it, I'd probably find bad things, but- So something about this panel, like, something that actually is- happens throughout this whole mini-series that I noticed in this panel. What? Uh, it seems like the only color <clears throat> they ever do shading on is the shade of brown that Tails is, and yeah. also that Antoine's legs are. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, Tails is really popping out of the the scene here. Yeah, because he's the only one that has shade. The only one that's shaded. And yet, his lighting source is inconsistent. <laughs> Yeah, and I think it also hurts because Sonic looks fine, but like Sally, in every single one of these, it looks like one of those awful Flash games when like, like the drawing thing in Flash games where it's just like a coloring book with a paint tool. Yeah. And they just give you drawn. like, yeah, it just looks like, it looks very bad. And like they should have done this. There's like some shading on. Shade. On uh, Sonic's hands, but that's about it. Yeah, Sonic has some shading here and there. The art does actually greatly improve after a bit. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Oh, sure. You've, I've shown you. Yeah, this just seems like they took the. the um... Yeah. So, also, if I remember right, the oh, sorry, what were you going to say, Jim? You go. I was say, if I remember right, there were two TV shows going on at the same time. There was yes. the, yeah. the. There was the Batman. Saturday morning one. And the um, goofier one. The Saturday morning one is like an action show or whatever that doesn't have an ending. It basically follows. The other one was called like Sonic Adventures or something, right? And it's I, like I, this. I, think, I think it was just. I think it was just called Sonic, and then people call it Sonic Sat AM or Sonic Saturday Morning. Yeah, Sonic yes. Sat AM was the one with the same characters as this comic, and it was yeah. just called Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, and then but there were two shows with the same exact yeah, what name. Yeah, the other one called. 
I think just Sonic the Hedgehog. Really? I think they were called the same thing. I could be wrong. It might have been like Sonic and Friends or Sonic Show or something. But that's why people call it like Sonic Sad AM, so you could tell it apart from the other one. Oh, um... <clears throat> really quick, um... Do you guys, like, in this comic or whatever, and probably later ones, Eggman has eyes? And that's weird to me. Because, like, he has somewhat normal Eggman. eyes. Because he has... Eye. Yeah. Well, even then, like, even Robotnik in the older things, he had other, like, pitch black eyes. Or, like, wore glasses or sunglasses that covered his eyes. So it's weird, like, seeing Robotnik with actual eyes. Or whatever. Hmm. It warms the cockles of my heart. Oh, he has, like, a much <laughs> deeper voice in the... In the... In He's the... voiced by the same person that, that voices Winnie the Pooh. Oh. It's hilarious to think oh, about I gotta, that. I gotta make some videos where it's Winnie the Pooh saying Robotnik things. I'm sure that's been done before. So if you, uh, if you open your books to, yep. uh, issue 2, page 28. Are you actual issue 2 or like... One titled issue 2. Okay, so, the third issue. so if we do that, how about we just call it, like, title, like, title issue 2, page this. Okay. So, okay, the, yeah, the, the, one, the, yeah. the one that's called number two? Yeah, issue number two, page 28. Okay, let me check this out. With this gem of a panel, or part of a panel. The photo yeah. finish thing? Okay, I'm on it then. Uh, mm. Cough, cough. <laughs> Boomer there looks like the Grimace. Yeah, we forgot to color in his muzzle a different color than the rest. Yeah, he, he yeah. looks like the Grimace. Yeah, purple all what's around. up? What's up with tails in that in the picture at the end though? Like he's not looking at the camera. No, he's just, just looking looking in the corner. He's looking at he's Sonic. Looking at, uh, he's looking at Sonic. He's like, wow, Sonic, you're so fucking fat. He definitely looks like his gaze is more towards Sally. <laughs> That's true. It's like, wow, Sally, why are you why are your eyes like that? <laughs> why did you turn to anime? <laughs> Well, her eyes are different <laughs> for everyone's all the time. Yeah, she is pretty anime. I hate that. I As we found see. fucking Tails doing a very stupid face, but I don't remember what comic it was from. <laughs> oh, so, um... Some stupid faces in my folder here. So, Boomer? This one. In, yeah. like, three episodes, his name is changed to Rotor. Oh, yeah, I think I look... I think I know that because before this, I looked up each of the four comics on the Sonic wiki or whatever to see if there was trivia I can mention. And there wasn't his, really. His name just gets changed. Yeah. It's I also weird. like... Also... In the cartoon? What? Is he in the cartoon? He's in the cartoon, but what do you want to watch that cartoon? <laughs> yeah. We should do that, like, as a live thing. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Do you like live work? So the... Alouette, the number one on here. When does that happen? That never happens. That's a famous scene that's like memed about all the time. That's, yeah. That's I'm actually herring. disappointed that it. I'm disappointed that it is like. An, no, red herring. Like. It's a, it's a cutaway I'm guy. disappointed that it's like a joke. It's yeah, like it's not an actual. The, they probably like, the people who made this probably like who originally drew this and probably knew that like this was a joke. The famous Sonic dead scene is a Family Guy style cutaway gag. <laughs> Sorry yeah. to ruin that one. So it was, never uh, actually yeah. happens in the comic. They never like kill I mean, Sonic sure only to bring him back. I like well, um. That's what I meant. Point, like eventually do it. At one point, like I forget who they are, but two characters are insulting each other. Like back and forth, or whatever, and one of them just calls the other a wet blanket, and that's like the weirdest insult. It, that's actually that's an actual insult. That's like, a... yeah, that's very but common. It's, it it's just common, feels but it's, it's still it's, weird. It's like, common, but it's like bad. both y'all are right. It's bad. It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> well, I'll just have to throw a wet blanket on you, and then you will understand exactly what a wet blanket might do to a group. Uh, oh yeah, that reminds It'll me. Protect um, from fire. <laughs> There's a part where Sonic, like, mentions Moby Dick, and that kind of, like, that's proof that Moby Dick exists in the Sonic universe. No, they're constantly breaking the fourth wall in this. 
<laughs> that is true. Also, I feel like that's a real missed opportunity for them to say Mobius dick. Yeah. I also like in issue three where uh, Sonic's Uncle Chuck is just creating magic with a hammer. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. he somehow knows how to do this, and he somehow isn't that, knows. Isn't that a dream sequence? Yeah. No. Yeah. It's a dream sequence territory. Yeah. I, I also like how it's um, barely presented as a dream sequence, and the first time reading this, yeah. I thought that was just the actual plot. <laughs> the actual origin no. story. <laughs> issue two. Um, I have issues. Huh with issue two because there's a part where like they have to go underwater to get one of the emeralds or whatever and first off like Tails holds his breath but Sonic doesn't so that like that's weird to me that like one of them has to breathe can breathe underwater and talk and stuff and but the other one has to hold the breath. breath and just starts talking to him yeah yeah and like there's a part where, like, they're chased by Jaws, the robotic fish or whatever. And Tails is like, who's that? And Sonic's like, that's Jaws, the robotic fish or whatever. Even though Tails met Jaws, like, an issue or two before that. And, like, he somehow doesn't know who that is anymore. For no reason. I think the drawings on the cavern wall look like Parappa the Rapper. They do. <laughs> <laughs> and, like... They have a submarine, so why did they, like, swim underwater in this place? Also, freaking or Boomer or Rotor... God, I'm gonna be confused with that now. Good. He he pulls out a submarine, and then Tails is like, Oh, wow, that's quite an interesting subplot. And that's that's not a plot. That's not a subplot. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know, no. I, get, I think the subplot was him making... I think the subplot was him making the submarine, but that's kind of like... A thing so, that happens that isn't mentioned or whatever. Yeah, exactly. They just misuse a term for it's a pun, and this is the first of many, 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 many times they do that. I have another example of that somewhere here. Here we go. The um the hot air balloon. Oh god. Which which quickly becomes like an obvious liability because like one of the main uh, bad nicks that they're fighting are bees with like very sharp stinger ends. Yeah. And of course that they pop the balloon. Mm -hmm. But so it's just like, why would you even use the balloon if you if you knew that was going to be a risk? Well, I think it was just for this joke. Wow, how did you get my hot air balloon inflated so fast? I just asked Ant to tell me about his college days. Ha. Uh, good. <laughs> It was just for the sake of the thing. It was just yeah. for that. It is, it is kind of cool. I think, I think after that, there's like a part where Sonic, like, um, homing attacks, like, five uh, Adnicks or whatever to get to the other balloon or whatever. And I think that's the first time that, like, a homing attack was mentioned. I don't mentioned. think he was using his Like, in the entire series. This is, like, a decade before they did that. No, yeah, that's thought... what I'm saying. I think this might have been, this, like, the first. No, this or is like... just good old-fashioned enemy bouncing. It's just Koopa jumping. Yeah. yeah just says, fair enough. I can leap from robot to robot. He doesn't even call it a homing Back attack. in the day, you newfangled kids and your homing attacks. <laughs> I like the, uh, how could something so pig move so fast when that doesn't... I don't no, get it. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't either. It might That's be because a pun he's a like... Hog? I guess, but is that's a like a stretch. That's like a stretch. Yep. It is a stretch. And even then, like, <laughs> that doesn't. How could a pig move they so make, fast? Like, they make a lot of pig jokes about Sonic in these first four, and I think the people writing don't, it don't know what a hedgehog is. If if he was a pig, it would make it would be much more like horrific that he eats like chili dogs. <laughs> yeah. I kind of wanted a chili dog after the like seeing the two hundred and the the, the um push barrel like that. I'm like, mm, <laughs> delicious. Speaking of like, that definitely wasn't two hundred. Yeah. It, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Speaking of like, why is why do, Sonic having a dog is weird. It is a bit weird, weird but yeah. at the same time, the cyborg version of him looks radical. 
Yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's just weird that Sonic has a pet dog when there's, like, characters in the Sonic universe that are, like, dogs and wolves. Yeah, and it's the... It's the Goofy Paradox. Yeah. The Goofy Pluto yeah. problem. It's still weird and... And don't worry, the cyber dog comes back plenty. It's great. <laughs> Do they ever, like, free his uncle? Not that I know of. I was thinking, like... So, it... The robot machines turn people into robots. Yeah. Yeah. Which, yeah. in at least in some cases, turns their flesh into yeah. metal, as well as it's like just zombifying their minds. Yeah. How do you recover a person from that? Good question. I don't know. I, do, how the fuck do you, you spin dash on them and do they just not them you, up? you just you break them open it, and the animal pops out. It's weird because the orig yeah in the original. It was that they were they were just robots that had the things and like had the bunnies and stuff inside of them. It wasn't bunnies that were turned into robot bunnies or something. Yeah, it was just powered by the animals in like some kind of Speaking chamber of being electrocuted and the bunny being electrocuted provided power somehow. This character, is her name Bunny or Bonnie? Uh, forgotten. Bunny Rabot. Yes. She was, she was not in these issues except for this Wait, page. she shows up? Where? Yeah. No, she said she wasn't. The one I just put in the... Oh yeah, there she is! Well, there she is. Yeah, yeah she's... She's pretty in prominent it. in this she... page. Why is she there? <laughs> she gets like a whole introduction and stuff in a later issue. Yeah, she's Does... not in this miniseries. No! Is this, this um... Is this connected? Is this connected to like the actual... When the comics actually start? Mm -hmm. Or is this, like, whole... never mentioned, just a past thing entirely separated? The whole continuity until our hero, Ken Penders, shows up is kind of loose. It, mm -hmm. uh... It was just kind of a strip-a-day style comic, just doing silly things. There might be some callbacks from other ones, mm -hmm. but it was... I also saved this page because I have problems with, um... Robotnik's face and Mutsky's face. <laughs> they just. They bother me. Yeah. And also the implication that if there's the good, the bad, and the Mutsky, Mutsky is somehow true. <laughs> yes. Neutral. He's just a dog. <laughs> or, that Mutsky, or that Mutsky is ugly. But he's a good boy. He's just a little doge. He's pretty. He's not a good ugly in this. Well, no, he's, he's not a like... good boy. He's not part of the good. No. Oh. He is a boy. That's all we. Need. That's all we can say. He's the musky. That's that's a problem. He's not a good boy. I like how I fucking was... um. I couldn't read this. Like, I legit could not read. That. It's very hard to read. Like, why would they choose that? I can't. I could barely read that. I had no problem reading that. I can't read it. The royal like, family tree. I thought it was like the rotor failed. C R C C you know, of Mobius or something. Like, a few issues in. <laughs> I actually like how I got Rotor without knowing. Like, I didn't know that when I like took down that note of like what I thought it said. Wait a wait a second. There's like a huge continuous plot that uh, Robotnik mm -hmm. doesn't know where Not Whole Village is. Yes, and that he's yeah. trying to find it so he can destroy it. Yeah. Or at least and take it over. Issue two, oh. he has a robot spy in the village. Yeah. yeah. To be fair, you could make the argument that he just had the robot follow them, and then they destroyed the robot before he could go back to Robotnik to tell I him. I guess he just didn't have one of those two-way communicators that a bunch of his other ones did. Yeah. <laughs> But the robot is like also the fucking... itself sentient, apparently, because it can bear animosity towards them, and then willingly activates its self-destruct mechanism. <laughs> Which is... And like then they, they, they cry because they think Sonic is dead, but think about who that poor robot used to be. Yeah. This is, like, barely relevant, but I like the fucking Game Gear ad. That's just in the middle of issue one. 
and it's like it, they're trying to announce games that like you could buy these games for and they announce like batman returns in tasmania as two of like the go-to titles that they want you to know exist like it has fucking batman returns in tasmania on it. so um back in issue zero yeah they have a scene where sonic is like going through the secret tunnel to get to Knothole Village. Yeah. And it, like, shows the entire path and him slipping around down it, and that becomes, like, a staple of the comic, and I just think they're a really cute and effective way of like, showing the speed and action that comes with the games. Yeah. Because like, it's... Yeah, because it's... Good. It's hard to show Sonic speed in... Like, physic and, like, staying still and stuff. And, like, as the art quality goes up, as they get more funding, these start to get really pretty. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. And I am... All you gotta do to open up the secret entrance is pull this vine, but I like to make, like, Tarzan, man, and jump into the stone. <laughs> <laughs> I like the part where he, like, runs around robots to cause, like, tornadoes. Yeah. But he calls them a whirlpool. Yeah, yeah. And I googled how fast would you have to run to like cause tornadoes to appear. And I got this one like answer that was just like a dick to the person that asked it. Like, that's impossible. No one can run that fast. And it's like, yeah, but it's a fucking hypothetical, dude. Just let the dude have fun and ask his silly question. What if he was doing something exactly like we are right now and needed to know for his important Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> podcast. Yeah, hell yeah. I also like the uh, just total, total MacGuffin quality of the rings in this. Because they're, yeah, they're just like, like collectibles in the game. You get them to get a one-up and they serve yeah. a purely mechanical function. But they... In that way, it's kind of a lot like um, the Super Mario Super Show. Yeah, yeah. I would How say like, like you collect a leaf and you become Super Mario. And, I and... I would say if if like if this is 1993, you can make the argument that they're they're referencing the uh, giant rings from Sonic from Sonic Three and Knuckles. They were you like you have the that's how you get to special they zones. Could be. It's like. The, it could be referencing that instead of like normal rings. Though but... in later series they do just reference them as normal rings, specifically in God. the um Mecha Sonic versus Robo Knuckles or Hyper Knuckles, <clears throat> I forget what I, it's called. I hate that there's like there's Metal Sonic and there's Mecha Sonic yeah. and there's Robo Sonic <laughs> and they're three entirely separate. No, it's just Supersonic versus Hyper Knuckles, and they're like carrying big bunches of these rings on their arms. Isn't Hyper Knuckles yes. pink? Yeah. That's yeah. so good. Better than Turbo Tails or Titan <laughs> Tails or whatever. Tails. I can't wait until we get to uh, the SWAT bot no fun allowed <laughs> meme yeah. image. But until then, we have this. That'll be good. It is a nice touch That's that uh, at good. the end. Have fun. Go to jail. At the, at the end of the um, issue zero, there's um, hold on. There's this image that I'm gonna post. I, I like how one of the things he outlaws is books. Books are so exciting. That's such a weird thing to outlaw. <laughs> no plants. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the last, doing it constantly. <laughs> the last issue, the last image of the first comic is what I posted in uh, the thing, and um, the first, like the cover art of the last comic in this mini series, is the same thing. It's the same graphic, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's oh, the nice. same. Like it's an, it's a nice touch. That... It's like an advertisement for the next comic. Is he like awesome. worried that? Yeah, he's but this is issue it. zero, and then like. The cover of the last one is that. It's the same image. or whatever. Like, it's a nice touch that they made the last page of the first comic. Yeah. And the first page of the last comic the same thing. It's a good, uh... Like, the face he's making at the end of that circle, yeah. though, he's just like... <laughs> I, I think the implication is that he's just going too fast. 
It's impossible. It's still a good thing. It just sounds like blasphemy. Yeah, really. See, Sonic can't go too fast. What are you nuts? <laughs> I also. I like how his teeth just end. There's no gums or anything. It's just kind of ends. It's just lip. It's just like his mouth cheeks are just. <laughs> Where's uh? Oh, it might be an issue three then. There's a great um, plaque to Robotnik on his desk. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. one of it's like, it's just a bunch of things that's normal, like, he's the president, he's like the dictator, he's the king or whatever. And in the There's middle, also a bunch of insults. it's just, he kicks puppy. Megalomaniac. Supreme dictator, industrial polluter, and megalomaniac. Corrupt <laughs> politician, <laughs> underhanded reprobate. <laughs> Rainforest Ravager and Puppy Kick. Oil Spill Coordinator, God. Holiday Hater, and Insurance Salesman. <laughs> nice. It's I like the Hello, I like at the Sonic. I like I like the crab at the bottom of the page that just looks like he's done with it and shit. I just cleaned that monitor and here my boss is touching it with his gloved hand. That's like a running thing throughout the series. All of the robots are just fucking fed up with Robotnik 24/7. I would be too. But, like, he built them that way. He built them <laughs> to spite him and then yells at them constantly. Good. You just can't make some people happy. Hey, look, guys. Sonic's a trans rights. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. I get it. Because there was a part where he said, like, I, I, like, trans speed is one of the things. No, that's true. Sonic is trans. But I meant the image that I posted. Oh. <laughs> I like, like, I think that looking like Bowser's head is not like, has to be intentional, yeah, but... Be you so? It has to be. There's no way that that can't be intentional that that looks like Bowser. I don't know, it looks, it kinda looks like a generic dragon to me. Yeah, Bowser. <laughs> Bowser's not that generic, he has cool red hair. Yeah, this guy, this guy's got red spines going down in the back of his head. I mean, if you're gonna be evil, I guess go all out. Get that flare. I like how I like how they get political halfway through issue one Sonic's or whatever. Oh yeah, I have they're like, have if you think I, if you think I'm slow, look at these these politicians passing bills in Congress. There it is. Passing uh, environmental yeah, like... bills, and Sonic's always yeah. had. If you think I'm slow? Check environmental bill. <laughs> check the speed of this anti-pollution yeah. bill as it goes through Congress. Sonic gets no, political for no reason. <laughs> The whole, the whole series has kind of an under... Well, at least this section has a, um environmentalist undertone, but then... Um, that is... It's not even an undertone, really. It's just... Yeah, that, that's just... It's not right subtext. Saying. It's just text. Yeah. yeah. These trees got cut down, and now their neighbors are weeping for them. There's a part where they're like, the top ten reasons why you should buy... Oh! The Sonic the Hedgehog comic over the other comics. Right! And no... Oh! Most of these don't make sense. Yeah. Like, it doesn't take batteries. No comic takes batteries. Yeah, the, uh, it has zero cholesterol, unlike X-Boys and Spawn. The, the hilarious and thing is like, it says this... that there are no uh, cover gimmicks, like no attempts to get crossovers to get people interested. Yeah, and it says number six is nor does Slam and see about that. Spawn. And then cut to like yeah. forty issues later when they have a crossover with Spawn. Yeah. yeah, and there's like a part where it's like number seven is the Sonic comic has no villains that are also mutants, and it's like wouldn't that help your series? Like that would make it cooler. No villains that are if also they had like mutant powers or whatever. Yeah, that's neither Not a mutants. good reason nor a bad reason. That's really. kind of a thing. That's just a yeah. fact. Just a fact. And there's, um, also, the Sonic um, comic yeah. isn't pre-bagged with a die-cut gold foil cover or hologram trading cards. But that's actually a cool thing to have. Also, I'm almost certain mutants show up later. Like, Dr. Probably. Robotnik is there constantly has to be some kind of dumping toxic waste everywhere. There's gonna be mutants. There's also just, like, I mean, I know it's not, like, the X-Men definition of mutant, but... 
Robotnik is like a half human, half robot, dude. Right? Good question. So like, can he not fit under some definition of a mutant? Probably. It depends. He's a like, cyborg. yeah. I I know he's a cyborg, but like he is like also like, I don't know. It's different. It's like, and this. Like, did they know. also advertise Sonic? Uh... Sonic Comics has a foxy female lead character who wears an unusual two-piece outfit cut to like five issues Oops. later where she's wearing a vest. So is she now wearing a three-piece outfit? Yeah. Hell yeah. I like, I like Sonic's Adventures are soon to be a major... Mo Sonic's Adventures are soon to be a major motion picture starring Michael J. Fox and like now we have the Sonic movie coming out in a few months. Oh, we gotta yeah. like make sure that it, each, like it. each of us goes sees that movie in theaters and does like a fucking yeah, podcast. We gotta, about we gotta it. cover that too. Yeah, we should do that. <laughs> it's gonna be bad. Have any of you ever heard somebody else say, "Wait, just a dad blamed minute"? Nope. No. <laughs> but that's something that Robotnik says. Dad and the number one reason is Sonic. <laughs> What is he still not... for? Sonic the Hedgehog won't be dying anytime soon, and like... I mean, they're not wrong, this comic lasted they're not 300 wrong. issues. This comic spanned the Yeah, decades. but like... Yeah, but I feel Sonic's gonna die in some issue. Oh, yeah, definitely. No, we were just talking about that. Yeah. Wait, does he? I'm sure he does at some point. At some point, well, probably. Okay. Um, I kinda oh. wanna go back to this one that I linked and forgot to bring up, but like... There's this one little bit where, like, Sonic is, like, all these pictures, this photo album of Sonic being too fast to be in the picture, and I'm just thinking yeah. of, like, I, I don't know why, but, like, I'm just thinking of, like, Nickelback's photograph over that. Oh, God. <laughs> where it's just, like, <laughs> I was ran too much through my whole life, and now it's good, now it's over. My whole life is over, but then I didn't slow down and smell the roses. Good. I didn't even I like have any pictures of myself because it was too fast. <laughs> I like the last one. I like the last one that's, uh... Oh, it's kindergarten. I thought it was college. I would say this is proof that Sonic went to college, but no. He just no, went to kindergarten. Sonic's a pretty proof bad that Sonic did indeed graduate kindergarten. Also, like, the dog in the picture that's, like, giving him the diploma or whatever. It looks more like a Disney character than a Sonic one. Yeah, it looks like a yellow goofy. I can't wait yeah. until we get to the wolf pack. <laughs> that sounds sexy. They're... This page also reminds me of that Pop Team epic joke where, like, in every one of what's her name's pictures, she's running towards the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, Sonic did it first. Yeah. I also like how they uh, <clears throat> they specifically refer to Sally as Foxy. Yeah. No. <laughs> but that Foxy they're, squirrel, you know. Starting early with that. <laughs> And it's yeah. only gonna get worse. Also, like, when they started, like, the quest to get the four emeralds, I thought that would be, like, a long-going thing throughout the rest and not just a problem that gets solved in two pages. In that yeah. issue, yeah. Yeah, like, I yeah. thought it would be, like, a like long form <laughs> thing. Like, At the same time, this was only a where, like, the, like wait Yeah, but I still issue. thought that, like, it would last the other two issues or whatever. It seems like... The kind of thing that's like, oh no, there's this big problem, and then it's solved in two seconds. I also like how uh, Sonic and Antoine are constantly fighting over Sally Acorn, despite Sally freaking out and screaming about how much she loves Sonic, like, a day earlier. And what's weird is, like, they just met a day before that, and she's already like, I love you, or whatever. Okay. I'm pretty sure they met in issue zero. And then in issue one, oh, yeah, you're right. did, did they? Yeah, they yeah, met, they in, met issue in issue zero. zero, and she's already has a crush on. What? But that's cartoons. I me. think he, I think he knew she existed or whatever, but it, like they meet yeah, each other. The no, he, in the like, in the fifth panel, oh, he's living at Knot Hole, and Actually, he's like, "Oh, Princess see. Sally, have no fear, I'm here." Check this out. I'll say the Freedom Emeralds magic is what keeps Robotnik's reign of terror at bay. Doing a pretty good job of that, aren't they? <laughs> they already have a spy. 
there's a part where like Robotnik is holding on to Sally and she's like put me down and I have expected her like Robotnik to kill her. Also, um <laughs> Why haven't they killed Robotnik? Uh, I, th I think Robotnik does die in like issue 17. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just, at some point, do kill there. Robotnik. What? I know that, like, way, way later down the road, Robotnik just gets fucking murked, and then he gets replaced with an alternate universe Robotnik, and that mm -hmm. one Does is he wear referred black? to as black Eggman and yellow? in his universe, and that's the canonical oh, shift between Robotnik and Eggman. Wow. Nice. Good. I Can't thought they were that. gonna. I thought they were gonna bring an Eggman Nega and that, have that it happens, like. Yeah. Okay. This is where the. See, I thought they were gonna bring him back as full robot, so he'd be Robo Robotnik. This is where Eggman Nega comes from, and where Nega Sonic comes from. Robo Bo 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 Robotnik. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to get to the interdimensional highway arc. It'll, I'm sure it'll be there's great. Also in a, there's also a subtle, not even a subtle dig, like an outright dig at Reganomics in issue oh. uh, zero. It's like, oh, we That's a great thing to have in a Sonic comic. Hole. We could be flooded out, or worse, Robotnik could use trickle-down technology to locate us and destroy us. It's like Good. a direct reference to trickle-down economics. Good. A lot of pop culture and like political references in this yeah. comic. It's just like dated so bad. There's like a random reference to like a '90s like runner or something halfway yeah. through one of the comics for no the, reason. Uh, the six speed settings page. Yeah. Which was all around confusing to yeah. me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, I had no idea. Uh, that in uh, was the internet, and... also. Like, um... Why is ultrasonic slower than supersonic? <laughs> I like, um... It's in the... Ever first issue? Ever the internet! Ever? Uh... I'm looking for our editor. It should be on page 16, I think? Yeah, I just liked it. Okay, page 16. And I like the fucking, um... Internet has ruined oof for me. <laughs> like, there's so many times where a character falls down and they say oof, and like... <laughs> the Minecraft oof for the robot- or like, the Roblox one pops in my head. The Dr. Roblox, Nick. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. <laughs> well, according to issue three, four, they're brothers from way back when. That was God, a dream sequence, and it was poorly explained, yeah. as we already went. I like. Oh, I like I'm sorry. Transonic. I also think I said it wrong. We're like, Mom said it's my turn on the Sega Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> I like fucking Transonic. I, I also like Transonic. <laughs> I also like the fact that Sonic oh, is trans than Sonic. Uh, the speed of light. Yeah. This panel looks so gay. What the? <laughs> 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 it does? <laughs> they hate each other. Mm -hmm. There's. <sighs> Antoine's assumed Derry. I'm like... <laughs> what, is it, um... T Tails is like a Yonder or whatever it is. Oh god. Cause he keeps... Every two seconds... Sonic is so fucking great, like, Sonic is perfect. Sonic is great. Well, yeah, like, just wait until he gets mad like and fucking... <laughs> turns into Titan Tails and beats the shit out of them all. <laughs> Titan Tails. It's so bad. Is it Turbo? Is it Turbo Tails or Titan Tails? I, I think always it's forget. Turbo Tails. That would fit the bill. Let me check. <laughs> yeah, it's Turbo Tails. God damn it. I like picturing Titan Tails though, because that just seems like it would be. I imagine him being crazy, like gladiator body like type. Really type. buff. Exactly. <laughs> what this Turbo Tails? Uh, it's something that's- it's a sin that's gonna happen it's later. The Tails equivalent of Supersonic and Hyper Knuckles, I guess. It's only in the um, comics. Just, it's a cape? I'm looking at it, I'm like, this looks silly. 
Why don't we go to see Mighty the Armadillo? No. Fuck that, I'm on, I'm on Fang the Sniper. Fang the Sniper which definitely was called... shows up. They called him something else in Europe, I think. He's like... Oh yeah, we were just the going weasel, about this. Or like Fang the Weasel or something. We were looking at his villains page and he commits a murder. Yep. Ugh. I like the fucking dog's there face. There is Turbo Tails <laughs> oh and Hyper Tails, apparently. God. And Titan Tails! Don't even say those words. Just Next the Weasel, up, more commonly called Fang the Sniper. And in issue 149 and 150, every Tails in the multiverse fuse together to form Titan Tails. Oh god. <laughs> oh. Are they all still like fucking eight years old? The image is glorious. <laughs> oh, oh god. My god. Oh, what the fuck? Is this real? Yes, I can't. Yes. I can't wait to get there with you. But it is our destiny. This fan art is. Mm, it's, That's not fan art. It's like this. That's not fan art. That's not fan art. Well, no, some of it yeah. is, some of it isn't. Like, Allie's like looking at this. Or not. I'm looking at Google Image Search. <laughs> oh, don't do that. <laughs> I, I, so far, it's been okay, but like, it's still just like, this makes me uncomfortable. Oh, I'm the only age. teenagers older than Dick. His his eyes are glowing, right? That's not just like a patchy, like. <laughs> Halo of skin I, around it. I do not know. It looks the same as the way I his tails are glowing, glowing, so I'm gonna assume his eyes are glowing. Yeah. Also, I like that just his tails are glowing. I've never looked into it. Well, he's tails. <laughs> no, he's Titan tails. <laughs> I found the page the awful face is from. Oh, oh god. Okay. No, thank you. Sonic looks really cute in that picture. Because... So I. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great face. That's a good face. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> no. There's all the meme boys. Why isn't the one? Why isn't Tail shirt the one from that one comic? Oh God. I guess whoever drew this didn't know about that one. And uh, I think I think that about wraps it up for the uh, first episode. Well, uh, is there anywhere that we can find you all? Any other podcast projects uh, you work on? Oh, no, I'm not working on anything. I think we're good. I have a <laughs> Twitter. Twitter. You don't need to see it. It's garbage. You should definitely check out Alouette's Twitter though, because she that's where she. Uh, calls Ken Penders the devil and stuff. Yeah, I called Ken Penders the devil to his face, and then we had a good laugh about it, and he, uh, Ken Penders you is apparently a really sweet on... guy. You got to put the tweets on screen now you for might this. Have to. Just to yeah. remind it. Yeah, and you might- yeah, I don't know yeah. if you- I don't know if but you want to black yeah. out, like, her name on Twitter so people don't find her, but-, but Or if she, she doesn't care about that. Okay. It's just a mononym. Put stuff on Twitter. Also, <laughs> yeah. You... But, uh, you know, maybe, maybe depending on how things go, we could get contenders on an episode. Who knows what'll happen. Yeah, I think we could, yeah. could, should come back to, like, talking about this, because, like, I do feel done for now, but I don't feel like we've talked about everything we could have talked about from this video. Yeah, like, let's see. Let me see if there's any images on here that I didn't, oh, there's this one. Oh good, what is Don't it? Like that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh that whole fucking like I know we briefly brought it up, but I think we should definitely go more in depth to that dream sequence okay. next time and the whole <laughs> maybe. Just like mm. We'll play it by God ear. Damn. We'll, have, we'll just have fun. <laughs> oh, <hell>. All <laughs> hails around. <laughs> Chunky <laughs> boy. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Lord, he coming? Oh, Lord, he coming? <laughs> oh, Lord, he running? The well, they can't run, that's why he has his little hover chair. <laughs> no, wait, he oh, can run. Like, at the end of the I like that, I know it's- I, 
I know it's a fucking meme. I know it's like a fucking flashback or whatever, but like, a, like a dream or whatever. But I like how they look no different than they do like twenty years later. Like nothing changed. No mustache. Right. Yeah, later. he's the same height, the same weight, the same everything. He just looks the same. I've been trying to raise this boy. Kidnapped man. <laughs> he's an orphan. What? How not? Like, he probably from a broken home. I like how that it randomly gets dark in that flashback dream or whatever too. It's like he gets rid of the brakes and shit on the car on the tractor, and he like kills his father pretty much. <laughs> Tries to at least, and then he's like, "You're you're gonna go into the house where there's more technology for you to use." And so, and he's like, "Am I a bit harsh?" It's like, no. He tried to fucking kill he you. Was trying to intentionally. Kill him, I think he just didn't care if he lived or died. <laughs> it wasn't murder. It, it was just negligence. It still counts. Is he, it's not like, oh, he forgot to tell him. He's like, should no, I tell him? Tell no, him. I just let him fucking die. Like, <laughs> let's just let him die or whatever. And it doesn't. Make and any why, does, why does one of his mechanical men, like, <laughs> betray him that fast? Yeah, so I know, he it doesn't- good at programming them yet. <laughs> How did he program yeah, them? How yeah, did yeah, a little- He's <laughs> Not only, like, betray him, but also just kind of, like, adult. throw him under the bus. Kind of like, oh, I'm sorry, what this dude actually meant to say. Like, see, I'm right and he's wrong. Because- <laughs> yeah, he's like, I want to know. Wanna evil, know. So they turn on their creator. I want to know how this fucker made, like, li near-living robots with, of, like, intelligence and stuff out of, like, random, like, the brakes and steering wheel of a fucking tractor. That's all he, like, that's pretty much all he used, and, like, I don't uh, get... I was also wondering where he got the parts to make the big robot walk, but I just... I just accepted it. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah, you, can, mean, you guess... can make a walking <laughs> leg out of a toaster oven, sure. We don't have to make sense of any of it because it was a dream sequence, right, guys? <laughs> I like how it's a dream sequence that adds nothing, so, like, they could just cut out the fucking five, six pages or whatever of that comic. And, like, here's a question. Why, um, ro like, Robotnik and Sonic's uncle or whatever it is, like... They both went to the same hospital, but they're different species. Well, well, like, you see, what like, lots of different species have to come to the same hospital in this world. Yeah, and that's the other thing, though. Yeah. At least to an even bigger question of like, what happened to all the infrastructure, and like, is Robotnik taking over like the area the size of a city, or like how over, much what, power what does he have? Nurse, he what if Robotnik? What if Robotnik's like the good guy because? The anthropomorphic no. animals took over the world, and he's just trying to like fight for the human race or some shit. He is. That doesn't inherently make him good. <laughs> <He> is <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but I mean, like, I mean, like, he's fighting for like, a, he's fighting against like people that took over the world or whatever, and like killed all the humans. Good. Yeah. And it's weird Sweet. because, in. I know they're different canons, but like in Sonic X, like they're not on Earth; they're on a different dimension or whatever that just happens to look like Earth, and then they come to Earth. So it's weird that like Mobius and Earth are like the same thing. Mobius and Earth are the same thing, trillions of years apart, because at one point a magic, a, f a magic future past Native American. Echidna civilization rose up and ruled the entire planet, and then it's just weird ruins. that, like, in here it's the same, but in the cartoon it's like they're different, like, dimensions or planets or whatever. Anyways, that, that's gotta be it for this first episode. Yeah. I feel like I feel like this happens with every podcast ever where they're like, we're gonna end this here, and then they talk for another 15 minutes. Not if you edit it out. <laughs> We want to edit that out. That was gold. Sure. I am gonna, I'm gonna edit around it, so I will be like, I'll edit the first word ending it now because we couldn't leave it. <laughs> you just put the, uh, that put or like, I'll just nod it. Or you don't edit it at I all guess, and you just yeah. shove it in there. Whatever. 
Yeah. I'm definitely gonna be signing off here because not to be gross, I really gotta use a restroom. That's gonna be it. Huh. Thanks. That's gonna everybody. be it. Bye bye, everybody. See ya. <laughs> bye bye.